These talented performers can do it all. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie performances by musicians. He picks vacuum cleaners? I do. I am a broken vacuum cleaner. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're ranking the best performances by musicians on the silver screen. We're only going to be considering celebrities who first got their start in the music world, so performances like Jamie Foxx's in Ray will have to be saved for another day. Oh yeah, oh yeah but hell yeah, let's do that. Number 10, Queen Latifah, Chicago. Queen Latifah's appearance in the big screen adaptation of the Broadway hit Chicago wasn't the first time this member of hip hop royalty tested out her acting chops. Ask any of the chickies in my pen, they'll tell you I'm the biggest mother. Latifah had actually earned plenty of cred working in both film and television, from co-starring on the sitcom Living Single to working on Juice, Jungle Fever, and Set It Off. 2002 signified something of a turning point for the Queen, however, as her performance as matron Mama Morton earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. When you're good to mama, mama's good to she may have been edged out by co-star Catherine Zeta-Jones, who took home the Oscar, but it was here where Queen Latifah officially crossed over into the mainstream. Spice it up for mama, she'll get hot for you. Number 9, Diana Ross, Lady Sings the Blues. Call this a case of dream casting. Lady Sings the Blues featured one musical icon portraying another, as Diana Ross stepped up to the plate to embody the legendary Billie Holiday. All the rain together for the wind to Truth be told, this Motown-produced film featured a plethora of talent around Ms. Ross, including Scatman Crothers, Billy Dee Williams, and Richard Pryor. But never was the boss's star diminished one little bit. <laughs> Instead, Diana shines as Holiday, proving that she could deliver with just as much power on the silver screen as she did on stage. Ross would go on to further push her acting skills in hits like Mahogany and The Wiz, but it's Lady Sings the Blues that wins our heart. Your man don't explain. Number 8, Frank Sinatra, The Manchurian Candidate. The 1962 film adaptation of The Manchurian Candidate signified something of a career resurgence for Frank Sinatra, who had already been acting in films for over a decade. Secretary, I'm kind of new at this job, but I don't think it's good public relations to talk about waiting United States Senator, even if he is an idiot. Gone were the fluffy, lightweight musicals of yesteryear, and in their place was a meaty, co-leading role that made the most of Sinatra's natural screen chemistry. It isn't as if Raymond's hard to like. He's impossible to like! The chairman of the board had already won Best Supporting Actor awards from both the Oscars and Golden Globes for his work on From Here to Eternity, and the Manchurian candidate cemented him as a true double threat, someone who could conquer both the film and musical mediums with style and charisma to spare. You tell him sorry, Buster. The ball game is over. Number 7, Ice Cube, Boys in the Hood. Today, Ice Cube is known for starring in a wide variety of films, from the Friday and Jump Street franchises to B-movie horror flick Anaconda and family comedy Are We There Yet? But it was Boys in the Hood that first brought Cube to the big screen after breaking through with his formative gangster rap group N.W.A. Heard you like Mr. GQ Smooth Man. The film is gritty, real, and Cube is absolutely great, showing remarkable poise and grace for a musician trying out acting for the first time. Fool, you don't go to college be talking no bitches. Your black ass supposed to be learning something. If you've never seen this Stone Cold classic from John Singleton, then make some time and check it out. You will not regret it. Yeah, you can see your way out my rock, and we'll see your cripple ass walking all the way home. Number 6, Eminem, 8 Mile. Sure, one could argue that the reason why Eminem is so good in 8 Mile is the fact that the film closely follows the real-life story of its star. Staying here for a while, what? Just for a couple weeks. I save up enough to get my own place. This isn't to trivialize the work Mathers put into 8 Mile, though, as it would have been all too easy for Eminem to phone in his performance as part of some sort of vanity project. 
he lays it all out there on the table, bearing personal and painful details on the screen for all to see. 8 Mile isn't sanitized and it isn't always pretty, but that's why we're still talking about it today. My technique's bizarre and ill. I scar and kill. You were a star until I served you like a bar and grill. As I proceed to cook and grill you, that's all it took to kill you. Number 5. Lady Gaga, A Star Is Born there was a lot of buzz around Lady Gaga's performance in the 2018 version of A Star Is Born, and with good reason, as the pop icon digs deep into her own personal life to deliver something that takes the film beyond mere remake status. I don't sing my own songs. Why? I just, I just don't feel comfortable. Just as Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson killed it in the 1976 version, so too do Gaga and Bradley Cooper, putting their own personal stamp upon a film that's won over audiences and critics alike with its blockbuster musical performances and deep emotional pathos. Tell me something, boy. Aren't you tired trying to fill that void? Number 4. Barbara Streisand, Funny Girl we just mentioned the immortal Babs and her career-defining work on the 1976 iteration of A Star Is Born, but this wasn't the first time Streisand knocked it out of the park. Nope, Barbara was already pulling on the heartstrings of audiences with the 1973 tearjerker The Way We Were, and before that, the next movie on our list, 1969's Funny Girl. This film signified Streisand's film debut, after first playing the role of Fanny Bryce on Broadway, and quickly earned her critical and commercial praise for her charm and comedic timing. Well, I, I just, um, I, I can't sing words like, I am the beautiful reflection of my love's affection. <laughs> don't like musicals? We say give Funny Girl a chance anyway. You don't have to make leading lady dialogue for me, I'm a comic. Number 3. Jennifer Hudson, Dream Girls. Dreamgirls was already well-known by Broadway aficionados when it was adapted to the screen in 2006, having already made a star of its lead, Jennifer Holliday. Now, I'm sorry, mister, but we cannot accept your offer. Fans of the musical wondered who could possibly perform the iconic Holiday number, and I am telling you I'm not going, which demands a supersonic amount of vocal range and power. Yes, scream, shout, you can say what you want, I'm not walking out. Enter American Idol finalist Jennifer Hudson who silenced skeptics with a performance that earned her Best Supporting Actress awards from the Oscars, Golden Globes, and Critics' Choice. Here, the proof is in the pudding, as Hudson's rendition of the tune is enough to turn just about anyone to jelly. I don't wanna be free, I'm staying, I'm staying. Number 2. Bjork, Dancer in the Dark We've mentioned a lot of positive, life-affirming films on our list. Thank you, but I'll just... I'll just write my bike. Dancer in the Dark is not one of those. However, director Lars von Trier's exercise in emotional torture wins a place here for the absolutely incredible performance of its star, Bjork. The film is bleak and depressing, yet captivatingly beautiful, thanks largely to how much power Bjork brings to the role of Selma Yeskova, who's going blind from a degenerative eye condition. What's happening now? Dancer in the Dark doesn't rely only upon Bjork's amazing voice to carry its weight, but instead works with the Icelandic singer's expressive face and instinctive acting talent to create a film that's truly one of a kind. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. So I reached to get my gun and I shot a hole clean through my purse. <laughs> you don't know what I can do. You don't know what I can do, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna be. You don't know I'm good. I have good things that you don't know about. No. And I'm gonna be something. Number one, Cher, Moonstruck. Moonstruck ain't your average 80s movie. The romantic comedy is funny, witty, moving, and heartfelt with much of this success laid squarely at the feet of its lead, Cher. You know, Pop, I had no reception, no wedding cake, no nothing. The goddess of Pop had been experimenting for a while with acting, but it was with Moonstruck that she, well, struck gold, earning her an Academy Award for Best Actress. You can't see what you are, and I see everything. You're a wolf. These accolades were well-deserved. Cher seems truly at ease in front of the camera, with a poise likely earned via her decades of performing alongside ex-husband Sonny Bono. Moonstruck was all Cher and Cher alone, however, and it was a truly epic tour de force. I can take hold of myself and I can say yes to some things and no to other things that are going to ruin everything. I can do that.
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.